welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to show you what I usually carry on my bicycle. Ta -da! I have taken the bag off and stuff for this purposes so I can show it to you. The main thing I carry is this Wizard Works bag which you can see a review on what I think about this bag up here somewhere. I don't know, Leo, Leo knows how to do it so he does that for me. But anyway, so, so it's in line with the Works Beautiful bag which is in the colour splatter and I really love this bag which if you watch with you will find out. So I will first of all show you the things that I don't carry with me that I have on my bike or on my person. First of all I have my sunglasses. Um, people usually wear like cycling glasses but I don't really find my cycling glasses the most comfortable so I wear these. They're really scratched and terrible and they're from Poundland but they work just the same and then I most of the time have my headphones with me because like I like to cycle my music and then I have my Garmin 530 which I love. I did I was design between the Wahoo and this but I I don't know why I actually wanted this one. I'll do a review on that at some point but I love my little Garmin and when I do a review I can do it with Lee because he's just got one as well so then it could be like a new user versus someone's had it for a while. Then finally a bottle. So that's all the things that I carry on my bike that I on my person or like miscellaneously attached to my bike. And now I'll get into my bag. So one of the first things I always have in here is my volley straps because they're useful and I love them. And like you never know, you might go shopping somewhere and want to buy something. So I always have those with me. And next thing is snacks because I'm a hungry person. I always have like some snacks, like I usually have a cliff bar and then a few serenes because like I really like them and they're really tasty and then I always have some tissues because I always get my nose because I've got hay fever, I'm allergic to most things really <laughs> and then I've got hand sanitizer, even before Covid happened I've always carried hand sanitizer because of like if you go for wee or something or anything you know not all toilets are clean and friendly and nice so I always have hand sanitizer I usually have two gloves, but I've only got one glove because, like, I don't want to get dirty hands. Oh, another serene, <laughs> an inner tube because if you get a flat tyre, you will need to replace it rather than fix it. Some pseudo cream because if I get a sore bottom, you may have seen on some videos that I use this. I do have also, oh, one second, where is it? Some, oh, butter, shabby butter that's in a, like a little sample pack that I just sort of carry with me just in case like I want something a bit more than that. I also, I don't always carry this but I've got my little whale wallet because it's so cute. I got it in the children's department in Liberty. It's just so cute but that's the wallet I use all the time for everything but I sometimes take that with me because I went to a shop the other day and they didn't accept like phone contactless so I was like oh my gosh I'm stuck so I can get an ice cream. Luckily my friend Tanya had one. My trusty pencil that I've told you about in my video about what's in my bag, which is not what's in my bag, my five random things I take with me, which will be up here somewhere. And then a CO2 canister. My inhaler, because I'm asthmatic. And then the last two things is my hand pump, because I know I've got a CO2 canister, but I don't really trust them. And I'd rather have both than not have, you know, the other one. And then a little information sheet on how to use my multi tool. You may be thinking, where does she keep all her tools? She doesn't have a saddle bag. Well, I'm going to show you in a second. And it is amazing, this little place where I keep my tools. There's one other thing that I've been carrying with me a lot recently. And that's my Shiwi. I do carry this, like, if I'm going like, on a longer ride, like, somewhere that's, like, more, where there might not be any toilets. And, like, there's Shiwi. So it's just like a little shiwi. It is clean, I have washed it. I keep it clean after every use. It is amazing to use and I recommend anyone that rides a bicycle that's a woman that goes out that's nowhere near like, you know, in the middle of nowhere, gets one because they're very useful. Unless you're happy with squatting down to go to toilet, I just can't do that, so. So I've got a shiwi. So with this imaginable bicycle, it's got this special little secret compartment here and you flick the switch and then the bottle cage comes off. Isn't that amazing? And then in there, there's a little compartment where 
I keep my tools. So I'll just get those out for you and then I'll show you. This little gadget's one of the little things that sold the bicycle to me because I thought it was amazing. And it's, it's actually so cool. And there's a little hole in there for you to put in a multi-tool, but I don't have that multi-tool, I've got a bigger one. So in here is what was in the down tube. Oh, that was in the down tube, it's crazy. I do find that blows my mind. I've only just started using it because I was struggling to get stuff in there and shove it up. <laughs> Sounds disgusting. So I'll show you what's inside. So inside, you're supposed to put up here your thingies, your in here where your CO2 thing goes and a CO2 cancelled there. And then it says, oh, flaps happen. I love that. But I don't actually carry in here what you're supposed to carry in here because I just couldn't get the air tube to fit. So I carry my pink Pedro's um, tire levers. And I've had these like for two or so years. They've seen a lot of use and they're just amazing. They may sometimes be a bit too thick for the job, but I've got something else for that. And then I have a tyre boot thingy, a glueless patch thing that I just have some in. And then I've got my little emergency kit, which has got some patches and a little bit of sandpaper in. I am going to put my quick links in there, I just have forgotten. The other parts of my CO2 canister, because I've got one of these in my bag, and I've got this in here. And it's finally my multi-tool, my little Topi multi-tool. But look, so if you need smaller thingies, okay, um, tyre levers, it's got them on here. Look, it's amazing this multi tool. It's got so many different functions, which is why I carry the little instruction booklet around me because of it can basically fix anything on my bicycle, but I don't have to use it. Like, for example, it's got a chain, a chain taper part and put it together a chain tool, otherwise known as. But I don't really know how to do that. But that's why I have the instruction manual. It's really useful to carry instructions with you sometimes. So that was everything that I carry in my bag. I know that it may be slightly over the top and I may carry a bit too much, considering I only really at the moment I'm going like 20 to 30 miles. And I am aiming to push it up to 40 next week or the week after, because I need to get to 100. But for at the moment, that's all that I carry on like my short eyes. And I, I need to eat a lot, I get hungry and then I lose it. I just lose everything while I'm hungry. So I do carry a lot of stuff. So how much do you carry on your bike? It'd be interesting to hear what other people carry. I wanted to make this video because I've, I've always loved watching like what's in my bag videos when I was younger. I used to make them as well on my bags when I was younger on a different YouTube channel. So I just was curious to see what is in people's bicycle bags. I know that lots of people like carry just tiny bike bags like here or like, you know, just like tiny little frame bags and then they've got loads in there. So I would love to hear about what things you carry and how much you actually carry in like tiny bags because as you can see, I'm a heavy packer. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you'd like to like, comment and subscribe and share this video with anyone that might find it interesting. Um, I will be uploading some more videos in the next few days, so thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!